called the dangerous skirt. Are you dangerous enough to try it? If so, this routine is for you. Ariel besties we here we have Taylor playing with the pole like always like a little kid Taylor you look so happy I am happy I was happy until you interrupted my three time oh okay so we're about to break down the starting spin as Taylor was just mentioning that we always break down the same starting spin but something we want to let you know is that because we're using a flying pole the spin that we use to start our routines are the spins that go better with a flying pole so we can have enough spin to for it to last throughout the routine so if you have a grounded pole feel free to change the start that's no problem but all the other moves should be very easy and similar to do on the grounded pole so we are going to start with Taylor's right hand on a forearm grip and her left hand is holding high 
Then her right leg is she moves it forward so that she can kick it backwards so she can start the spin. So Taylor, go ahead. So yes, you put your legs forward, kick it backwards and bend that knee in front. And you bring both legs to the pole to do your first climb. <laughs> Taylor, you spun a lot. I did. We're fine, we your first climb that you just did with a spin, you raise your right hand and hold high to get that right hand into a forearm grip again. And then you release your legs from the pole. And when you release, you kind of turn your body out from the pole, so away from the pole, and you cross your legs. Yes, and you engage your core to hold this chair in the air. <laughs> And then you bring your legs back to the pole and this will allow you to gain more spin as you get ready for the next pose. So the next pose is a straddle. So make sure the pole is under your arm, your inside arm, and release your legs and straddle up. Hook your outside leg at the knee. Very good. And now you bring your arm, your upper body comes up a little so your arm can go under the pole and you bend that back leg and you can release your hand here. This one, your leg is doing all the work and holding you in place. So from this pose, the transition is you need to bring your body up and hold above your knee and then you hold your, bring your leg in front first and then you hold at the ankle of that leg that is hooked on the pole and you lay back. So this is a dangerous bird. Here you are supposed to be laying back as much as you can so that your knee is hooking under the pole. Then you eat your core and bring your upper body up again and hold high, you can release your leg and hold between your legs. So the bottom hand, yes. And then you go into a pancake. So you open, you straighten your legs. Yes, yeah, so you can do this pose. Here it's not really splitted, but it really looks like you're doing a split. Okay, then you bring your legs back and then you release and you come down yay and that's it thank you taylor i'm sorry that i started speaking it's just that you look so happy you look so happy and comfortable and i said ah oh, she got this man but i forgot i'm sorry